We'll start with the Mr. Doll 43, uh, size 12, dry fly hook. This is a three extra long hook for the slender stonefly body. We have sheer, 14 aught black. So we'll start just at wee ways behind the hook eye. And we want to go back with the foundation. Remove that all the way to about there. And I want to spin my tying thread anti-clockwise so I can flatten it and split it. What I should do is flatten that thread up and I'll split that to make a dubbing loop. I've loaded a Petit Jean Magic Clip with CDC, black CDC. Now you can see the CDC is shorter at the top than it is at the bottom, so I want this short part nearest the hook shank. So we just put the clip in, and we don't want to put it right into the, uh, close to the hook shank this, because it will restrict us in what we want to do next. So we put that in, we want to spin that up, That's good. Then what we want to do before we start winding this on, I want the body to be slender at the top and all I want is just a few of these long fibres at the front for the legs. So we take the CDC now and we twist it on as you would with a regular dubbing noodle, but not all the way. We just do so much and then we can wind further back on the hook shank and we just catch the end of that CDC dubbing noodle in like that and then we can just tighten stuff up by giving it another twirl keeping these long at this end so what we can do now is we can wrap forward to make the slender body And we stop there before we start winding the legs on. Take our scissors. And we trim this down to make it even more slender. There we go. And then we can continue forward with the last few turns just to form the legs at the front. And then we just want to make a little foundation for the wing. Excellent, good. Now I've got a uh, Coquillion tailing pack from uh, Whiting. This is Dark Pardor. Uh, you can use any hackle for this. Uh, so don't, you don't need to just use this. Uh, all you have to do is make sure that the fibres are long enough uh, to make the wing. So once we've got our hackle selected, we can strip off all the fluff at the bottom. Then we need to trim off that so it's not too thick here, otherwise it won't pass through the nozzle. And then we take the wing and we split it the hackle sorry we take the hackle and we split the fibers to form the wing the wonder wing you want them equal on both sides there we are then we wet the end I've got a UV resin nozzle that I've cut a little bit off the end to make the opening a little larger take the hackle and we place it in there like so and then we can pull this through and form our wonder wing so we just hold that in position there We put 
one turn in. Hold it in position. That's good. Secure the wing. Go back a wee ways. And then we can remove the tube. Check the wing again. That's perfect. You can tie them in without a tube, but it's a little more fiddly. And then what we want to do, is I'll just go back a little bit. Just want to remove that as an angle, like so. And then we'll go over the wing. Take our scissors and we can trim the wing off. That's good, excellent. Then I've got a black hackle which I'll tie in close into the wing, like so, and then we we'll just secure that and trim off the end and we'll tie that down we go forward right into the hook eye then we work our way up over and just make a nice foundation for the uh, for the hackle and we put the hackle on uh, the hackle plier on To fluff around. Move that forward and then we'll, we want a nice dense collar hackle all the way forward. Tie that off, remove our hackle plier, two or three turns behind, a whip finisher, put one in. Remove the hackle and finish it off with another whip finish. Just like that. Remove the tying thread. And what we want to do, this is a couple of legs that are a bit too long, then we just pull those off. And then if you wish, trim off the hackles on the underside of the hook and that is the finished Wonder Wing Stone. If you enjoy the videos, please like, share, subscribe and thanks for watching.